Hey gang, what's going on? James here, and welcome back to Fan Theories. This is where I give you my thoughts and theories to some of my favorite movies and movies that are getting ready to come out. And as always, if you feel that I may have missed something or you got your own take on it, please leave a comment below. So every day we are getting closer and closer to the release of the yet untitled Avengers 4. And this is really set to be the culmination of 10 plus years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And while theories and ideas are coming out every single day of what this movie is really going to be about, one of the most commonly debated points is that time travel will play a part in this movie. Now, some people say that time travel will be a major plot point of this movie, while others say that time travel will be a very small part of this movie. Either way you look at it, it's safe to say that time travel will be in this movie in some way or another. And I for one think it'll be an interesting concept, because I think time travel will be able to bring closure to some characters. Take for instance, Iron Man. Time travel will allow Tony Stark to go back and see his father and be able to tell his father all the things that he wanted to tell him before he ended up passing away. And I think it would be a great opportunity for Howard Stark to tell Tony Stark how proud he is of the man he ended up becoming. And that would bring closure to the Iron Man character. I also think time travel could be used as a motivator to some characters characters who need that extra push to keep going. And the character I think this most importantly reflects is the character of Spider-Man. Spider-Man is one of the newer and youngest Avengers, so I think with him being young, I think he is kind of afraid in some points. And I think Spider-Man will need a push to keep going. Now we all know what happened to Spider-Man at the end of Avengers Infinity War when Thanos... So in whatever way Spider-Man comes back, I think he's going to be scared to continue. I think he's going to look at it like, I already died once, why do I want to keep going? So I think in order for Spider-Man to keep going, I think he needs to be motivated. And what better motivator than Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben is such a crucial character to the Spider-Man mythos. He is what puts Spider-Man on this road of becoming a superhero. Now, I'm not saying that Aunt May isn't as important as Uncle Ben. They are both what keeps Spider-Man going. This is how I look at it. Uncle Ben is what put him on the road to becoming a superhero. Aunt May makes sure he stays on the road. So now the question is, who will play Uncle Ben in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, I have a couple ideas. And I give you my thoughts on who I think would be a good actor to portray Uncle Ben. First up is Jeffrey Wright. Now, I have always been a fan of Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright has proven time and time again how much of a versatile actor he really is. He can play a genius, like he did in The Hunger Games. He can play funny, like he did in Broken Flowers. And he can play stern, like he did in W. If Jeffrey Wright doesn't play Uncle Ben, I think at some point we will see him in the Marvel Cinematic Universe just because he is such a good actor, so versatile. And Jeffrey Wright has been nominated for countless awards. Screen Actors Guild Awards, Golden Globe Awards, Emmy Awards. I mean, the dude has chops. So I think Jeffrey Wright would be a good choice to be able to tell Spider-Man with great power comes great responsibility. Next up is John Cusack. Now, John Cusack is a very, very down-to-earth character actor. And I think that's what Uncle Ben really is. He is a very down-to-earth person. And I think John Cusack would portray that really, really well. And once again, John Cusack is a very versatile actor. Being able to play smart, funny, drama, action, he's done it all. Not only that, but John Cusack is a writer in his own sense, having been nominated for Best Screenplay for High Fidelity. So I think he would be able to add to the Uncle Ben character. Now that being said, I think John Cusack would be a great person to be able to tell Spider-Man with great power comes great responsibility. My next choice is Woody Harrelson. And I know what you're going to say. How can Woody Harrelson play Uncle Ben when he is already playing a Spider-Man villain? Now for those of you who don't know, Woody Harrelson shows up in a post credit scene of Marvel's Venom movie as Cletus Cassidy, the character who would become Carnage. But, in my defense, I came up with this list long before I saw that movie. 
And I'm not saying he can't also play that character. Because the universe that Venom is set in, we're not too sure. Is it in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man universe? Is it in the Amazing Spider-Man universe? Or is it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? No one is really sure, so he could still end up playing Uncle Ben. And I think Woody Harrelson would be a good choice because he can be fatherly, he can be mentorly, and he seems to play tough characters all the time. And I think he would be a good teacher to teach Spider-Man to be tough. So in that sense, I think Woody Harrelson would be a great actor to tell Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Next up is Nicolas Cage. Now I know this seems like a kind of weird one because Nick Cage can be a little Nick Cagey. But let's not forget that this guy won an Oscar for acting. The dude has chops. He has played a hundred different types of characters, being able to play everything. I think Nicolas Cage's strong points is that he's able to play teacherly and he's able to play fatherly. And that is essentially what Uncle Ben is. Uncle Ben is pretty much Peter Parker's father. And I think this role would really, really suit Nicolas Cage well. So I think Nicolas Cage would be a good choice to tell Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Last but not least is Brian Cranston. Now Brian Cranston is an actor that just keeps getting better and better and better with every role he plays. And like everybody else on this list, he's a very versatile actor able to play tough, stern, scary, but Brian Cranston is really great at playing emotion. Really good at playing love and caring for his family members. And again, here's another actor who has been nominated for an Oscar for acting. Now I know a lot of people look at Brian Cranston and think he is cast in that mold of the Walter White Breaking Bad character, but every time he plays something different, he is able to change our minds 100%. So I think Brian Cranston would be a good choice to tell Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. So there are my picks on who I think should play Uncle Ben in Avengers 4. Now I'm not saying Uncle Ben will be in Avengers 4, nor do I really think that he should be in Avengers 4. I just think it's something that I would like to see. Now I'm not saying he can only be in Avengers 4. Because we have another Spider-Man movie coming out in July after Avengers 4 is already released. You could even put Uncle Ben in a flashback scene or in the opening pre credit scene. And you never know because as many of you know Mysterio is going to be the villain in the next Spider-Man movie. He could use the illusion of Uncle Ben to try and persuade Spider-Man not to battle him. It's just a thought. So there you go guys, there are my picks for who should play Uncle Ben in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you got your own take on who you think should play it, please leave a comment below, let me know. What do you think of my picks? Comment below. And as always, hit the subscribe button because I am always putting out videos, and I will see you guys next time. So I think Nicolas Cage would be a great pick to be able to tell Spider-Man with great power, comes great responsibility. Probably should have used a better picture.